<laughs> Good afternoon and welcome to SAP Center, home of the San Jose Sharks. I'm Randy Hahn, and we are here today to recognize the outstanding career of National Hockey League defenseman and shark forever, Dan Boyle. Please welcome his wife, Amber, and his daughters, Easton and Wesley. <laughs> we also have Sharks players, current players in attendance, including Captain Joe Pavelski. We thank you for making your way over from practice, and also a number of members of the Sharks alumni. We are here this afternoon to recognize one of the top players in Sharks history. Dan Boyle spent six seasons in San Jose and remains the team's top scoring defenseman. And today he has a very special announcement to make. At this time, I would like to introduce our honored guest. Please welcome Dan Boyle. Dan? I want to thank the owners. Um, sometimes I, I've seen these kind of things and players forget the owners. Thank you to all the owners that have allowed me to do what I love to do for a living, support my family and uh, make a career out of what I love to do. So thank them, and for, first and foremost, management, um, GMs, assistant GMs, anybody who had anything to do with me getting uh, to where I wanted to be, um, coaches. Thank everybody here for taking the time to be here to celebrate Dan's tremendous career and, uh, and welcome him back to the Sharks family. Uh, your teammates in particular, you look over, you see Navi, you see Jumbo, Tommy Wingles, Logan, Pavs, Patty Marlowe, um, that's the thing about this game. It's the people that you play with, Danny, and, and you know that better than anybody. How will you apply what you learn in sports to your personal life? And my second question is, what would you like to communicate to future players? Thank you. Uh, I'm going to try not to get mad at my girls like I was at myself. <laughs> that would be bad, but I think that, <laughs> you know, I, I, I believe in earning things, so I, I know... I don't know what's right and what's wrong, but when my, when we play, if we play cards or I play with my kids, I make them I make them earn the win. I don't I don't just give it to them because they're six and seven. I make them earn it. So uh, and sometimes they're mad at me, but uh, I just think that earning something, you know, and not handing something to someone, it 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 makes it a little more rewarding whenever you get what you're working for. So hopefully, I'll I'll, I'll my kids will learn from that and. Uh, you know, hopefully they'll be better for it. I mean, as far as future players go, uh, I just, I want to grow the game. I want the game to, 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 to be better. I think sometimes we talked about overcoaching, and, and sometimes I see it in the game today where even last couple of years where the game, coaches are, are paid to win, but sometimes the game has changed and evolved into this game where coaches almost want a mistake-free game, and I'd like, I mean, if anyone watched the World Cup, like, you know, some of the games, like the young guys and stuff, they were going out making plays, and it was just, I want the guys to have fun playing and enjoy the game. So, again, the game is evolving. It evolves every year, every couple of years, but I, I'd like to see a little bit more, um, and maybe one day in some fashion or some way I could be part of that. I don't I don't know how, but um, I think there's room to grow the game and, and make it, you know, a little more, interesting and, and fun for the players. Y'all ready for this? 